Yes. Can you? All right. Welcome back to Connor Orchards. Today we start our apple harvest. It is August 5th and we are picking apples. We are also just now starting to pick peaches. This has been a crazy year. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. So I'm going to walk you through and show you some of what the guys are doing. They bring the buckets here, and I'm kind of sorting as we go. Mm -hmm. um, number one's for the customers. Number two, sometimes we send them to the pigs. But here we go. <laughs> so here the guys are picking apples. The trees are not that short. Jake is just that tall. He is... He's seven foot tall, so. But these are the trees that we grafted last year. You gotta keep. I haven't heard that name in ages. I don't. He doesn't need a ladder. He doesn't need a ladder. So there's a certain way to pick. You kind of twist the apple and then lift up, and then they come off really nice and easily. And then Ben's already got a load, so he's headed back where we started from. He just reaches right in there with both hands. Alright, so Ben just brought me a bunch. I'm doing the sorting. We just do a quick look around. Um, I'll show you some number two. We get those lovely little bug bites. The bugs this year, <laughs> but the bugs this year have been pretty bad. The birds have been crazy. Um, those won't even come up to the shed. Those will just get tossed off. Bye-bye, bye bye, bad apples. <laughs> We're so dry this year that the birds have been into everything. And without a cherry crop, um, it seems like it's been extra bad for them this year. Yes. These are my number twos. Yeah. Yep. Um, everything is starting. And then after this, we'll take you up to the shed because I have to pack out some peaches as well for an order. Um, Ed does a run. We have various sizes, which are all on our website as well. We're trying to figure out shipping. Um, you can go with either one of those two bins. Over here, I'm sorting. These are my sorts. Can you see? Can you see why? So the bottom of these buckets have an opening that just lets them gently pour the apples out so we don't get them all bruised. Oh, no. I was like, okay. Yes, I'm recording you boys. Yeah. All right. That probably we won't even send up to the shed either. We need to start a pot for the pigs. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All right. Are you going to come help me? Ed's thinking that the this is called the Zestar. The cellular structure is a lot more open, so he thinks that's one reason the bugs like this apple more, is that they can get into it really easily. Yes, they Some of our later apples that are a lot tighter, like our Crimson Crisp, we don't have as many bug problems with that one. Mom, yeah. I want to tell you, I'm watching a show. You're watching a show called Mommy Sorting Apples? Yes. <laughs> When you're videoing. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I don't go over the top on these totes. Uh -uh. And then we'll load them into the truck and get another flat. I'm watching a show, Mom. <laughs> watching Mommy? Yeah. That one there is almost ready as well. And How then I'll bag these up back up at the, at the house in the shed there. Mm -hmm. And we'll bag them up for the delivery order tomorrow. <gasps> oh. Just yawning. That's fine. What's that? I'm just yawning. Oh, okay. Oh. Help 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were telling me. <laughs> so also while we're doing this, we watch for sunburn apples. It gets a little bit of a brown. Mm -hmm. We are at 6,000 feet, so the sun hits things really hard here. We'll put those into our number two boxes as well. And I'll turn Darn those it. into dried apples or applesauce or something along that line. I see you, Dad. What are you doing? Water! Here. Check, check these apples out. One's on the, the cream example, and this is the green example, and this is, you know, I'm just saying. We want kind of cream colored ones. The ones that are filled, he, he needs a little bit more time, but just by the color, if you can tell by the color. So we want somebody more like this, where it's not like, as almost like rich of a green? Oh, yes, more toward the cream end than the green green. But you guys are doing good. Color. You gotta go buy the color. Like that pocket, he's not bird eating, he's probably better get it. Oh. Yeah. Like this, we're gonna leave for next time. And, and for like yeah, this, go ahead and see how nasty this little pocket is right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, like might as well knock him off. I'm bringing the small dudes, and like this guy, he's like in a stumber place, so I just grabbed him. He'd be, just, he needed culled off. It's not a right apple. Probably just toss him? Yes. Okay. I end up pelting Jake one day. <laughs> so the bug bites are pretty easy to spot. Um, unfortunately, they just drill right in. That one almost got by me. They'll actually sometimes come in right through the bottom of the core. And as you're looking around, it's an easy to miss. So we always have to kind of check. You can see the frass in there. Um, and then that goes to our number two pile as well. Okay. Off or on? Off. So what you doing, Ben? We are putting apples into bags that are, and, and trying to make it to where it's three pounds. And then we're bagging it up and yeah, packaging it. Packaging. Doing some work. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're so quick at this. Why are you? I get nothing. I'll put it in two boxes. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. On your mark? Set? Go! Oh yeah, they got jammed. Oh, the other one got jammed. Come on, come on. Oh, no. oh, Ben had a nice spin going there, and he's done! <laughs> he had a great Wait, spin on that one. Size. How, how did you get the size?